there is no spoon decoded. This is another piece for the more intermediate to advanced level truth seekers and truth finders. And if you've seen our other videos, you have already heard me say that what we discovered allowed us the ability to read and decode what could be called the code of the matrix as a way to describe it metaphorically. But for this piece, as you'll see, it's also meant quite literally. The Matrix movies, the trilogy, I think most people are familiar with since it's arguably one of the most analyzed and discussed movie series of our modern times now. And now, some 21 years after the first Matrix movie was released, the fans of the trilogy are happy that the long-awaited fourth Matrix movie will finally be released later this year. It's absolutely no coincidence that the release date happens to fall on the winter solstice in what we call the Northern Hemisphere part of the world, or that the title of the fourth Matrix is rumored to be Resurrections. But we can talk about those connections in another video. For this one, we're going to look at something brought out way back in the first Matrix movie, some 21 years ago. And despite all the really good attempts that I've seen from people over the years who've analyzed it and the overall story, I've still not seen anyone completely or accurately decode what we're being shown overall in this trilogy so far, including some of the symbolism that was shown within it and made famous just because of how many people have seen it and started discussing it. Now for this piece, I'm not going to be showing any actual images from The Matrix. That's because we're a brand new channel. We're trying to grow it and we don't want to have any issues. Even though it would be fair use in this context if I use these images, I'm still not going to take the risk just because it's a little tricky on public social media platforms these days. So what I'm going to do is just use other images and show you what I mean but I think we're going to see the same thing. All right, here you go. So no spoilers here. Like I said, this is a 21-year-old movie, so everybody at this point should know just from the description what I'm talking about. So we're talking specifically about the scene when the bald child, appearing all Buddhist monk-like, holds up the spoon that he was bending in front of his face and tells Neo not to try to bend the spoon for that is impossible. Only try to recognize the truth. Neo asks him, what truth? And the child answers Neo, there is no spoon. Then you will see, it's not the spoon that bends, it is only yourself. And then we see Neo take the spoon and lean his head over, and the spoon bends the same way. The spoon bending ends abruptly when a nice lady taps Neo on the shoulder and says to him, the oracle will see you now. We'll look deeper at the oracle, I'm sure, in many future videos. But for this one, let's find out what this there is no spoon thing is really about. In a way that you've never seen before, and for the first time, it will be accurately decoded. Now, in order to read this code of the matrix, and be able to comprehend its real meaning, and the real meaning of every other famous story you've ever been told, you have to have the knowledge about how everything in the sky above all of our heads cyclically moves. Because the code of the matrix was in more than one way written in the stars. And this is why we're sharing our work here, to show you this enormous discovery for you to see for yourself. Just like Morpheus famously tells Neo in the original Matrix movie 21 years ago now, no one can be told what the matrix is. It can only be shown. You have to see it for yourself. The character Morpheus also speaks enormous truth here. So let's show you what I mean. In our video, The Hidden Stars of the Fourth of July, we were first briefly introduced to the star constellations of Cetus the Whale and Pisces the Two Fishes. In that video, we saw them playing starring roles in the American Independence Day story. And we're going to look at them here again and much deeper. This combination of Pisces and Cetus, you're going to learn as we go forward, are very important characters in many, many famous stories, going all the way back to our ancient past. But almost no one, outside of a very small group of people whose job it is to keep this knowledge hidden by putting it right in our faces and keeping it over our heads, no. Now one thing we discovered, at least 
one major piece out of the overall enormous discoveries that we made is that although Cetus is known today as a sea monster or specifically a whale, he's been known to ancient peoples. And you're not supposed to know this either. These ancient peoples from the ancient past all the way up to the modern day looked up at the same star grouping and saw a heavenly child, a divine child, you can think of him as, because of the way that this star constellation we today call Cetus is shaped. Now, it's not only the way that this baby or child we call Cetus is shaped, it's also because of where we find Cetus and Pisces above it or with it, you can see, during specific times of the year. This is something that we're going to be learning a great deal about because this is the reason that these two, com these two constellations known as Cetus and Pisces, we're going to see them playing starring roles in many, many famous stories that we'll be decoding here going forward. But you can find that information in our private videos. Now, we saw Cetus playing the role of the newborn nation we call America today in our Hidden Stars of the Fourth of July video. And we're going to see Cetus playing this bald, Buddhist monk-like child sitting on the floor giving Neo his fellow potential, right, at that point in the Matrix story, advice about bending spoons the way he's doing in the form of Zen Buddhism sounding koans. Now, Cetus has been reimagined by the script writers here to be this bald child seated on the floor, dressed in loose monk-like clothing, bending spoons in front of Neo, who doesn't yet know who he really is in this story yet. Look at the round head of Cetus. You can see that was symbolized in the child's bald head that he was given for this particular scene in The Matrix. And that loose clothing and his seated position on the floor is referencing, as you can see, specifically the shape of the bottom, bottom part of Cetus. Now look back to the head of Cetus, and you see that nose, you can think of it as, that nose of Cetus that's sticking out. This is why the bald monk-like child is holding up the spoon that he's bending right in front of his own nose before he hands it to his new friend Neo to try. And when he does is when the child tells him to realize the truth, that there is no spoon. Neo takes the spoon. You can see he holds it straight up. Look at the constellation of Pisces, the two fishes, up above Cetus' location and see that one of those two Pisces fishes is shaped just like that straight up spoon in this matrix story. And the other fish of Pisces is shaped and bent exactly the same way as Neo bends his head to bend the spoon. It's also no coincidence that this spoon-bending child in the Matrix was given, in particular, this Zen Buddhism vibe. Now, we'll get into the story of the Buddha, probably more in our private videos, where we're going to be sure to get to know Cetus even better. But maybe you can already see exactly why. So many of the statues or images you see of the Buddha show him with that strange-looking pointed head, just like how the constellation of Cetus' head is shaped, right? Now, if you're someone who can really see this, right about now you should have your own pineal gland blown right open, realizing the truth is you are seeing it for the first time correctly, the real meaning, at least, of this famous matrix scene in a way at this point very few have ever seen before. But it's the same old story that it's always been. We just didn't know it because it was over our heads. The same old sky story cycling above us from ancient to modern day. The truth is, there is no spoon, just another reimagined sky story. The sky stories that taken all together are the real code of the matrix. To learn how to be able to do this yourself, you can start by checking out our other videos here on the channel. You can head over to our website, starsnearme.com. Definitely encourage you to get on our private email list. Also, while you're there, take a look through our shop. You can find our new Constellations by Campfire for the fall season for the Northern Hemisphere. Our book there is in the shop. 
And if you liked the There Is No Spoon Decoded design featured in this video, you can also find that there in our shop. All the links are down in the description. I think that'll do it for this piece. Until next time, stay lit and be well.